Hey there guys, and welcome to Let's Play Our Way. Um, bit of a random video, but uh, it's still FTL related. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've been sort of playing this in my own time. Um, and generally, not recording because, well, you can get pretty far in the game and still fail. So, I've managed to get towards the end anyway. We're on the, uh, the last mission. We are on Sector 8, the last stand. Oh yeah, and uh, we're in the Taurus. Anyway, we've got a full crew complement, and uh, these are our upgrades as they stand at the minute. So, well, let's get some systems upgraded before this last fight. So, let's get two into shields, so we've got more shields, and we've got one point left, so we may as well put that into the engines. Everything else we can upgrade into doors and all our other subsystems. Let's upgrade the piloting just to make sure, yep. So, this is us at the minute. Um, <laughs> we've, you know, we've done pretty well to get here and, uh, you know, I'm not ashamed to say I haven't died in, in, in ooh, ooh, okay, in uh, many a turn. As far as you guys know, at least, anyway, I could be completely lying at my ass, but uh, no, I decided to do a bit of playthrough on this, and it's gone, it's gone pretty well. Um, I managed to find quite a bit of scrap, and uh, I've come through it all quite unscathed. It's a shame I haven't recorded it really for you guys to watch, but um, I thought I would record this last segment just in case I uh, survived the big fight, and uh, if I don't, then this will probably be deleted and won't go up anyway. So. If I survived the last fight, you know because I have uh, uploaded this. So, yeah, just trying to uh, get on with the fight at the minute, just uh, get to the last battle. All the uh, complicated stuff. So, the thing is, I've only ended up with an anti-ship one on our drones, but uh, everything else is going pretty well. We do have a fully upgraded um, cloaking system, which is very nice. Um, yeah, gives us 15 seconds of cloaking. Not really sure if it's that important, but uh, let's see the enemy's power usage while we're at it. So if we go to this repair one and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so we should be able to uh, engage the fleet next time. We do have three shields, which is more than we've had previously in these playthroughs, and I like to feel that that's given us a, an edge. I'll uh, ooh. Um, okay, so we've got intruders on board. Delightful. So yeah, I, I'm not really sure why I brought the cloaking system because it never really gives us um, it never really gives us that much benefit, really. But apparently these guys have sent half their crew over to battle us, so that, that's interesting in itself. If they're willing to sacrifice that many, clearly they don't care about their crew, unlike us who. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that our guys are doing well. Um, do we want to accept their offer? Yeah, we might as well stop the fight in there. Well, as you can see, generally, I haven't started recording this series. And you know I haven't started recording this series because I haven't bothered naming anybody LePau names. Um, these are all the default names. So we've got... Kusi? 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 Ayashara? Ayasha? Ayasha? Steli? Eon, Ekman, Stephen. Stephen's a, a good solid name, we know that one. <laughs> it's not like any of these other names. Um, you know, that, that one's easy to pronounce. And Varnas. So yeah, we've uh, we've been doing pretty well throughout this uh, entire campaign. So I'm quite impressed by us, to be completely honest. Hmm, I should probably bring the whole missile online. Uh, okay, whatever. We're doing okay. So if we go here, we can meet the uh, boss, I guess he is. The rebel flagship. We're able to destroy this monstrosity. We will have a chance of surviving, because it's gone invisible. Well, do you know what? We have got exactly the same party trick. So I'm going to wait for you to become visible again. Then I'm going to go invisible. How does that sound? Okay. Invisibility. And we are going to target their shields. So firing at will, or the rebel flagship as he's known, William the rebel flagship. 
Um, Shield taking a bit of a beating on their behalf. We're not doing too bad. Hull breach, just get him in there, fix that up. Uh, more engines we've got online, the more evade we've got, so that's pretty useful. Let's turn the invisibility back on. Luckily, even though our drones have taken one beating, they've still got the anti-ship of two, which is uh, always useful. Okay, so let's move our weapons onto firing other stuff. Um, hull missiles can go at... What can hull missiles attack? We may as well attack this weapon. I think this is the one that fires the real damage and stuff. So the sooner we can get out, that out of the game, the better. Yeah, it's firing missiles at us, which... Uh, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, let's open up these doors. We've got improved blast doors now. So we can uh, control the oxygen supply a bit better. And uh, stop fires and stop intruders getting on board. Okay. Let's get that put out. Okay. Oh, they're cutting through. Doing quite a bit of damage there. Let's go invisible though. That'll give us a bit of a helping hand. And once this room regains a bit of oxygen, yep, we can put our guy back in, Steven. Good old Steven. Reliable Steve, as we'll call him from now on, maybe. Probably not. I will probably have forgotten that within 30 seconds. Because, why would I remember it? <laughs> I've, I've been playing this, and I don't really care about this crew. None of these guys are named after friends or anything, you know, they're just all noobs. Oh, we've destroyed it. Anyway, yep. Good old scrap, good old whatever. Well, we can't get any more power bars because that's at max, which is a shame. Anyway, this is our equipment anyway. I haven't shown you this just yet. This is an Iron Blast Mark II, which we start with. Heavy Laser II, a Hull Missile, and the Anti-Ship, which we start with. So, we've got an automated reloader, which gives us a better cooldown between weapon fires. A drone recovery arm, so we get our drones back after they've been in battle, which is always useful and the NG which we've uh, had. So this is a crew, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I guess we should jump to try and catch this guy up. Yeah, I think we're going to keep on this pursuit even with this hull damage. Okay. Hull damage at their shields. Hopefully we'll be able to take them out before uh, anything bad happens to us. Let's go invisible for now. I think their invisibility thing's been damaged so they can't go invisible, which is extremely useful. Um, okay. I think this is going well. Oh, 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 let's get our guy out of there. Let's get him in there. Repairing or attacking or whatever he's doing. Is that a hull breach we've got? Okay. Um... Lots of systems are down at the minute. We probably want to attack their droids. That's what it is, isn't it? Oh, we've lost a crew member to that. Ah, oh, well. It's bound to happen at some point. We do have a lot of uh, crew that we're not really using at the minute. That's the thing. Okay, let's go invisible while they've got their uh, drones out. Mm -hmm. okay, that, that. okay, they're on one hull. We've still got quite a bit. They're destroyed. Let's, uh... Oh, so they destroy before they repair. That's interesting. Um, let's get him out of there to repair this. And let's get a few of the other crew in to be repairing. Hopefully we can jump to a repair station before anything bad happens to us. Um, yeah, that'd be... That'd be really helpful. Let's leave Steven in the O2 room just in case that goes down. While Ekman repairs this. Okay, let's turn the engines back up to max. Okay. Uh, um, it's fully okay, so we had one out of the engines. <laughs> That's fine. So where can we jump to? Um, oh. So that's going to be in range of four. One, two, three, four. I think we're just going to have to go for this and hope for the best, to be honest, guys. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got much else we can do, really. If we put that in there... Oh, what a bit of a waste, but... 
Slightly more dodge chance now with the med bay offline. Um, what else can we take off the line if needed? Oxygen kind of needs to stay there. <laughs> the cloaking is always good to have. Let, let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. We might be able to take them out as they are in quite a weakened state. So, their weapons are charging. Oh, they're sending crew in. Let's send our guys to go and uh, help Ayasha out. Ayasha? Let's go invisible. Yep. Anti ship bring that online now. Get him out of there. Okay, we're destroying their crew. Uh, let's go for a one on one situation here. Okay, let's get everyone back on where they're supposed to be. Okay, shields are down. Let's hopefully take out this big one yet. That's good. Let's get Steve out of there. Uh, yeah. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. Let's go invisible. They can't hit us while we're invisible. So we repair. we've done it. We we have beaten the game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I thought I'd record this last section. So uh, thanks to the valiant efforts of the Taurus and her successful crew, all these guys involved, the Rebel flagship was destroyed. So uh, we've we've beaten the game, which um, is amazing in itself, and <laughs> I'm quite happy about that. I'm 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 glad I could record the last bit anyway for everyone. Um, you know, to show I'm not a complete and utter noob and can actually finish the game. So, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you to the Kickstarter backers. So I'm just going to let this run through and, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching the series anyway. I feel this is a nice end to it. It gives you guys some sort of closure. Um, doesn't mean that you've watched and just seen me fail. It means you've watched, you've seen me fail, and then finally succeed, which is... Uh, which is always amazing. Wow, there was a lot of Kickstarter people, especially beginning with B. Uh, well done everyone beginning with B that donated to Kickstarter for these guys. Mad to think that a game like this, you know, has got community backing. It's uh, it's quite amazing. Especially, you know, when you think like of AAA games nowadays, it makes you wonder what the future's going to be, doesn't it, really? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go a bit quiet now and let you guys just read these names because it's going to make the video look a bit longer. That That is really what I'm going for here. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. You've probably stopped watching by now, to be honest, and uh, if you have, then you haven't heard this bit of me talking. Which, uh, you know, more for you guys, more for you. Clearly you wanted to hear me talking. I've got many interesting things to say. Especially about all these guys with their own nicknames in their letters, like this guy here, whose name I can't pronounce. And all these people with random nicknames. James Crissin Taylor. I don't think that's your real name, James, is it? Let's be honest now. J. Haxbarker. Is that really your name? Did your mother and father name you J. Haxbarker? I called you Baker then, didn't I? I apologise. I will get your name right. Yep, yeah, we're on to the J's. Lots of J's. I wonder what the most common first letter was. Mm, it's got to be like J or B. Maybe? Oh, this guy's obviously got a Twitter account. At King Cyber Jacob, um, follow him maybe. I don't know who he is. Don't follow him. No. Anybody that put a Twitter, oh excuse me, anybody that put a Twitter account name in their own uh, credits doesn't deserve to be followed. Even this Matt Griffin guy. Nope. Avoid him. Avoid him or follow him. Whichever. You're not going to listen to me either way. I uh, I have no say on what you guys are going to do, unless you respect me. Hopefully you respect me as a as a person. Maybe. A little bit. Tiny bit. Please. <laughs> Notch. 
Oh man, Marcus. Marcus person. What a legend. What a legend. Obviously the creator of Minecraft. A, a fantastic game which I love. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going to do a let's play of it because I really can't convince anybody else and I don't want to play it by myself. Uh, because, well, I get lonely in the world of Minecraft and uh, it doesn't really... It doesn't really keep me focused anymore when you're just by yourself. I'd rather play with play with a group of people, but obviously none of the Let's Players want to play because, uh, or should I call them Lepewers? None of the Lepewers want to play because they, they don't like Minecraft really that much. So if you want to leave some hate for them, leave some hate for them, but for me, you know, don't. Oh, look, Stuart's. Hello, Stuart's. Stuart Davis, Stuart Bar, uh, Stuart Baker, an actual baker. Stuart Smith, uh, you know, good on you, Stuart's for the, you know, donating. I didn't donate. I wish I did, but I, I did pay full price for the game, so uh, that's kind of donating, right? <laughs> and we're uh, through to the end now. Oh, licenses. These aren't really that important, are they? Apart from you know the legalities. Oh wow, Half Life and one. Ah, oh, Half Life one and two fonts used. That's amazing. I didn't realise that. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, that's it guys. FTL. Done. Finished. Completed. Congratulations, we've defeated the Rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation of the Rebels. So, we are amazing, basically. We are, we are the dog's bollocks, if you uh, give the phrase. Got a new high score. 3,251. If you guys want to leave your high score in the comments, go for it. Because, uh, why not? Everyone's competitive and there's, a, there's actually no leaderboard. Do it down below. Let's see who's got the top score. Because at the minute, it, it's me. And if you don't reply, then it's still me. And if you don't buy the game, then you should buy the game. And then you should try and beat the game and get a high score and then compare it to me. And then let us know what you got. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, cheers for watching this series. And... Uh, Goodbye. I'll see you on another series, hopefully.